How's it going guys? Declan Bricks here and we are back with another crash testing LEGO Speed Champions. Oh yes ladies and gentlemen, we have six brand new Speed Champions to test down the stairs of death. Because these guys are probably going to die from smashing down the stairs. Which is the way that we crash test these Speed Champions. If you haven't already... Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and go and check out the other two crash testing videos that we did, uh, re well, not recently, a couple months ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me introduce you to the six brand new cars we got going down the stairs today. Let's go. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are the six brand new cars taking on the stairs of death today. To see which car is the safest and most durable when, com when it comes to crash testing. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so first up, we have the McLaren F1 car. Now, this beautiful uh, car is a very, very rare model of McLaren, and it looks great. It looks absolutely perfect. Lego did a fantastic job. Um, and, yeah, we're going to send this bad boy down the stairs first. It looks like a pretty sturdy car. Um, you know, it has some different uh, door designs and stuff, which could potentially lead to some uh, danger. But who knows? Let's get this down the stairs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have our first car ready to rock and roll. And it's the McLaren F1 car going down these stairs. We have the slow-mo camera set up down the bottom. And oh boy, am I nervous. This is one scary thing, but let's send this McLaren F1 car down the stairs. Are you ready? In three, oh my goodness. Two, one, go. It to pieces! <laughs> oh no! It doesn't even look like a car anymore! Oh my goodness, look at all of this! Oh, oh my god! I gotta say, I think that... Look, why even is the front end anymore? I think that is the worst car we've had on the, the show. Like... Oh my goodness, it's in absolute pieces. This, it's just basically half the car now. Oh my goodness, this is going to be one hell of a fix. Oh, I'm going to give that a 0 out of 10. That is the worst car we've had on the testing crash, uh, testing speed champions. Crash testing speed champions. It's got to be the worst car on my days. 0 out of 10. Okay, so up next is another McLaren. It is the McLaren Solus GT. Now, this is a very, very strange looking car. It's got very zigzagonal lines in it, <laughs> if you would like to say so. Me, personally, I think this is going to have a bad crash time because all of these little pieces are going to come flying off and that could lead to some proper, proper damage on this lovely looking car, by the way. Even though it might, it looks beautiful. So, yeah, let's test this and see how it goes. Who knows? It could shock me. Okay, and so next up, ladies and gentlemen, after that horrendous start, we have the Solus GT. Now, this car looks a lot more fragile than the other car, but I don't know what to expect from it anymore because that car just exploded. So, let's send the Solus GT down the stairs. Are you ready? In three. I felt like that was already coming off. <laughs> Two, one, go! Ooh! Ooh. Was that as bad? Was that as bad? But it was still pretty hefty. It was still a pretty hefty rock. But to be fair, I'm surprised these didn't come off. Um, but basically just a spoiler and a few other little bits. The front windscreen. And this, yeah, not too bad. I'll give that a 6 out of 10. Okay, so next up we have the green lean Lotus machine. The Lotus Evija. Look at this great car. I love the colour on it. 
And, you know, it's the first time we've seen a Lotus down the stairs. So it'll be a great, great comparison to the other cars. Um, it looks like a solid car to me. I love the spoiler on it. Love the colours. Love the little outline of the yellow around the whole car. And it looks like an absolutely outstanding car. So let's see how it does down the stairs. Okay, so that one surprised me. So I'm just not going to... I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what's going to happen with any of these cars. But next up we have the Lotus Evijer in the nice green colours. Let's see how this car does. Like I say, I was surprised from the Solar GT. So let's see how this goes. Um, I love this back windscreen. It's so sick. Right, let's send it down the stairs. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Ooh! <laughs> That one got some heights off the bounce. Wow, we every each one of them keeps going into this radiator for some odd reason, which is the most hardest place to hit. But to be fair, what we're we looking like, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit worse than the Solus GT, but not too bad. I give that a five out of ten. Definitely, definitely, definitely fixable. So yeah, five out of ten, solid. Okay, so next up we have the Pagani Utopia. Now this car is absolutely fantastic. We have a Pagani heading down the stairs, which hurts me to say because Paganis are absolutely beautiful masterclass cars and they're very expensive as well. Just look at the back exhaust on this bad boy. Ho ho ho, wow. For a quadruple exhaust right in the dead center, looking absolutely fantastic. Let's get this bad boy down the stairs. Okay, so next up we have the lovely Pagani Utopia with its quadruple exhaust at the back. Let's see how this does down the stairs of death. The Lotus Evager, pretty solid. Let's see how this Pagani Utopia will do. Are you ready? Right, we keep on hitting the radio. I'm going to do it with my right hand this time. Try and not hit the radio. In three, two, one, go. What? Wow! Oh, I thought it stayed intact all the way. <laughs> I really did think it stayed intact all the way, but unfortunately, the back came off. I'm pretty certain that is. I mean, the back is quite a fragile piece, but overall, very, very solid. Look at that. Very, very solid. You got to give props to it. Just a little bit of the back. And what's this here? That's the Lotus driver. <laughs> the Lotus driver came out and I did not see him. Right, we'll put him there. He can watch. Oh, he can watch from up there. But yeah, wow. Not bad at all. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10. Yes, very, very good. Well done, Pagani Utopia. Okay, so next up we have the Porsche 963. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Le Mans car going down the stairs. Let's test this hypercars durability what a beautiful car this is one of the my favorite speed champions of all time it looks absolutely perfect it's a bit dusty but who cares let's get this bad boy down the stairs and let's test its durability okay so after a fantastic run by the pagani utopia let's see if the porsche 963 le mans car can beat it now this has to be a pretty durable car as it goes hyper speeds over 200 miles an hour and can crash at 200 miles an hour so hopefully it's durable but from what we've seen so far we have no clue so let's get it going okay in three two one let's go it just stayed dead oh my goodness not bad to say it stayed dead but let's just push it oh yeah that bomb crash there i actually just did more but you know a lot of pieces came off a lot of pieces came off but let's see how it is down here yeah it's not looking too well oh look at that front end yeah not looking too well gonna give that 
a four out, no, three out of 10. Not great at all. Okay, we're going back in time. We're going back to the 1970s, people. We have the Ferrari 512 M Sport. Look at this prestigious, unique, antique car. Absolutely fantastic. The basic livery. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful car. One that took Le Mans by steam. So let's see how it does down the stairs. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the final car, the Ferrari. Oh yes, let's see if this old piece of artwork can make it down the stairs unfazed. Let's hope so. As it's the last car, please do me good because I don't want to break an exploded car. I mean build an exploded car, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the final car to go down the stairs. Let's see how it does in three, two, one, let's go. Oh my goodness, great. It's just me. Oh dear, it's me. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't even look like the same car anymore. Oh, this is a big piece that came off here. But it does not even look like the same car anymore. Goodness me, that's got to be a 2 out of 10 for the Ferrari there. Not, not good at all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the aftermath of them breaking down the thing, uh, down the stairs. I've rebuilt, managed to rebuild these cars, which they look great. But these two, unfortunately, <laughs> look like it's going to be a tear down and get the instructions out and rebuild process um, because, yeah, they did not have a great time going down the stairs. So I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button to prayer for these uh, broken cars. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see some more of these kind of videos. Um, and when the new Speed Champions come out, I'm going to be doing crash testing those as well because we like to crash test every single LEGO Speed Champions that we have on this channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, kind of close to 100k subscribers. We're getting there. Let's say 90k subscribers is the next milestone. Let's get to that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost fell.